In the Upper County, Public Works recently started construction on a new sidewalk project on Bypass Road to improve pedestrian and cycling connectivity along Bypass Road from Waller Mill to Route 132. The existing asphalt sidewalk is being demolished and replaced with a new, wider concrete sidewalk with ADA compliant curbs. Please be alert when traveling in the area. There will be some construction traffic and minor traffic delays, but full access remains for all emergency vehicles, mail delivery, trash and recycling collections. This project should be completed sometime toward the end of the year. On the lower end of the county, if you travel Route 17, you can see construction underway everywhere. That includes another sidewalk making progress between Fort Eustis Boulevard and Battle Road. This sidewalk will lead right to the new Yorktown Library where the parking lot is also being installed as part of the renovation. The library and the surrounding area is all starting to come together. Outside, there is new lighting as well as a new BMP. And inside, electrical and tile work continue. We can't wait to see the Yorktown Library when the renovation is finished. Is your neighborhood in need of a pet waste station in an area where neighbors walk their dogs? Pet waste contains nitrogen and bacteria and is a major source of pollution in our local waterways. Our stormwater division wants to remind local HOAs and community associations that they can submit an application for a free pet waste station. Find the application on our stormwater webpage under yorkcounty.gov dpw. Public Works has been busy at some of our county schools prepping for fall sports programs. The basketball court at Tab Middle School was recently resurfaced, and the tennis courts at Bruton High School and Queens Lake Middle School are being resurfaced as well. New lighting is going in at the sports fields at Kiln Creek, Dare Elementary School, and Tab Middle School. Also on those same playing fields, upcoming intramural sports programs that Parks and Recreation has to offer this fall and winter. Be sure to check them out on the Parks and Rec website. According to Mosquito Control, the number of trapped mosquitoes is significantly lower this year than in years past. And just because fall weather is coming doesn't mean it's time to let our guard down yet. It's important to remove standing water from your yard and ditches where they're likely to breed. Follow these three D's. Drain water bowls, bird baths, and other containers containing water at least once a week. Dress in long sleeves, long pants, and light-colored, loose-fitting clothing to avoid mosquito bites, and defend yourself against mosquitoes by applying the right repellent to your skin. As you can see, DPW is always busy with projects all around the county, and they're actively recruiting for a variety of job openings in multiple divisions within the Department of Public Works. That includes full-time, entry-level, and professional positions in engineering, construction, and stormwater operations, and part-time seasonal positions available in landscaping and grounds maintenance. Starting a career with DPW means competitive pay and great benefits, including affordable health care, paid time off, retirement, and certification assistance. And as always, York County is a veteran-friendly employer by empowering veterans to move forward in their careers. You can find our team out and about at job fairs all around the area or check out our current openings and job descriptions and apply today at www.yorkcounty.gov careers. I'm Drew Copley and that's What's in the Works from the York County Department of Public Works.